Here's something interesting for you viewers on Shaw TV. We're down here for dog agility. We're here with uh, Dr. Ann and Sharon. Um, first of all, guys, what's a, give us a brief description of what we're looking at behind us. Okay, what's behind us is an agility ring, and on there are probably between 19 and 21 obstacles. And, and those obstacles are arranged in a course that's predetermined by a judge. And then the competitors have five minutes to walk through that sequence of obstacles to figure out how they're going to maneuver and manage their dogs around that course. If you run clean without knocking down any bars and within a specified period of time, you do what's called qualifying. So it's, um, it's a really great sport. It's lots of fun, yeah. and it's amazing how some of those dogs do, isn't it, Sharon? Yeah. yeah. Sharon, why don't you uh, let us know a little bit about the uh, the community that's around us? You guys seem like a tight knit group. Oh, we've got an awesome community in Saskatchewan, but in Moose Jaw too. We've got um, a lot of students um, under the Kennel Club, and we have uh, about five different groups in the province too that we travel around. Um, there's 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 stuff going on out of the province too, but through the year we usually stick pretty close to you know one one province or other next to us or ourselves. And we're, we're looking at video now of the dogs in action and this is all a, a promotion for the May 26th, 27th event you guys got coming up. That's right, we've got um, the regional finals, which is an event that um, there's six runs in there uh, that teams can enter into. They have to compete in all six. And at the end of that weekend, they will have a score that will determine whether they qualify to go on in, as part of the regional team into the Canadian Nationals. So it's dogs, it's basically the top dogs from Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and the, we're, our group it also includes Nunavut, but we never see people from up there. But there's going to be some outstanding dogs in town and we want to just welcome people to come in and watch and and see some amazing things so Sharon I'll put the question to you this is this might be the hard one is uh, give people a reason to come out and see this why do you enjoy this so much uh, it gives it well, I love it because I, I have fun of it at it but my dogs have a blast they love it it makes your your relationship between your dog it just becomes phenomenal because you work as a team and you're out there playing together and it just gives everybody it, in agility, everybody cheers on everybody else. There isn't, it isn't like anybody that's trying, you know, you're all behind each other. It's, it's very supportive and everybody loves to see any dog have a good run. It's also a sport that any dog can play. They don't have to be purebred. They don't have to be a certain age as long as they're healthy. And same with um, the competitors. Like we have kids that run the dogs. We have a junior handling and we have people in their 80s that play. So it's, it's just kind of fun for anybody that wants to do something with their dog, you know, and it, it makes them better behave too. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Ann, it all takes place May 26th, 27th. If people want to come down, how can they get more information? Band City Kennel Club, or and we can give a couple of phone numbers in a minute. Um, it's going to be at the exhibition grounds running Saturday morning, probably from about 8 o'clock in the morning until probably about 5 o'clock at night. And the same thing on Sunday. There's no admission. People are welcome to come. Um, and uh, the phone numbers... 692-7709 if they want any information, or like, like Ann said, it's in in the phone book too under Dog Club. There's numbers in there too, under Band City Dog Club. Well, I want to thank you both for joining us today and that's May 26th and 27th. For right now, let's keep checking out those dogs.